Namaste. Hamesha Kush Rabitya. I am Reverend Dr. Lili Tiridi and today I am going to take the lab number 2 of Genetics Lab and the topic is to study meiosis in grasshopper testes. Now the testes of grasshopper are removed and they are fixed in carnal fluid. Now after 2 to 14 hours, the testes are transferred to 10% alcohol and soap. Now what are the materials required? A male grasshopper, beakers, methanol, lecithic acid, gymsa rumnoski solution, gloves, glass slides, cover slate, fine scissors, and fine foot. Spirit lamp, distilled water, saline solution, filter paper, and matches. Now, the first stage to prepare a scratch. One or two lobes of testes are removed. The testes are placed on a glass slide. Now we apply one to two drops of stain that is acetophermine spray and with a sharp blade the testy lobes are cut into minute pieces and kept for 10 minutes. The slide is then gently covered with a cover slip taking care so that air bubbles are not formed. We warm the slide gently and place it between two folds of filter paper. Now we press the material with the tip of the finger and remove the excess stain which comes out from the edges of the cover slip when we press it. So now the slide is ready to be observed under the microscope. At this stage, the cells are physiologically active and no DNA is taking place. So the first stage is the prophase. Now what is prophase? It consists of prophase 1, that is in your case, leptitine, Zygotene, Pachycine, Diplotene, and Diacine. Now, in Lactitine, the chromosomes are long, standard, and uncoiled. So only one sex chromosome occurs in male, which replicates later and appears as a dark skin body. Now, in Zygotene, synapsis takes place, that is the process of pairing, and at many points, they become cemented by a synaptonemal complex and this facilitates crossing At this stage, the chromosome are bivalent. After this is the patching stage. At this stage, the chromosome crossing over takes place and this is accompanied by pulse matter formation. Diplotin is the condensation of chromatin material and here the chromatic chromosome can be distinguished separately. Now we have the diapyrosis, where the homologous chromosome begins to coil and become shorter and thicker. And chromosome can be fully contracted and deeply stained. The X chromosome is broad shaped, it's univalent and now easily distinguishable from the rest of the chromosome. After this, we have the metaphase 1 where the chromosomes are oriented in the epithelial region of the spindle fiber and the centromeres are attached to the chromosomal fiber. The chromosome is easily seen and maximum concentration. After this is the anaphase 1, where the spindle fibers contract and the homologous chromosomes separate and move towards the opposite pole. Now it consists of two chromatids attached to one centromere. Telophase 1, that is separation of homologous chromosome is completed and they reach the opposite pole. The two distinct nuclei are formed and the daughter nuclei forms contains only half the number of chromosomes in the parent cell. So cytokinesis may occur after the completion of telophase 1. And similarly, we have the prophase 2, anaphase 2, telophase 2, and here is the diagram which is showing the stages as you can see. And this is a so, um, diagram taken from slide here showing under the microscope how the stages are being seen. So this is diplotene, diakinesis, patchy. So students, I hope you are satisfied with my lecture. If you have any query, please in the, give in the comment section. I will resolve this thing. This session was powered by Deku Vidyapi Kumar University. Digital version 2.0.
Thank you, Anna.